This is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and this is going to be another Think or Swim tutorial on how to buy a stock. Also, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in platform tutorials, viewing live day trades, along with other educational content, please consider subscribing to the channel. To complete this tutorial, I will be using the on-demand feature within the Thinkorswim platform. And the on-demand feature allows you to practice trading any time of the day at your convenience. And if you're not familiar with the on-demand feature, you can check out the on-demand video in the description below. So once you have launched the Thinkorswim platform, you can head over to the Trade tab. Next, you're going to enter the ticker symbol that you are interested in trading. So let's say we are interested in buying SPY. So now we see the quote for SPY. So we can see that at this point it's trading at 289.30. So what you can do is right click on the quote and then select buy. At this point, you will see an order entry form here at the bottom. So now you can specify how many shares you would like to buy, for example. So let's say we are interested in purchasing 500 shares. And now you can specify the type of order. So we can go with a market or a limit order. Let's just go with a market order so that we can be filled immediately. And next you can select confirm and send. All right, so now we are going to head over to the monitor tab. And we are going to select field orders. So now we can see we bought 500 shares at 289.31. Here at the bottom, we can see our open P&L. So we're currently down $10. So let's say you want to go ahead and submit a closing order. So we can right click on SPY. We have a few options here. You can go ahead and place a sell order, or you can even place an OCO order, which is a bracket order. So with an OCO order, one cancels the other. This allows you to place a target exit price and a stop loss into your trading platform. But first, let's start with just a simple sell order. So you can see here the order ticket has populated. So let's say we want to place a sell order let's take a limit order and let's say we would like to exit at 289.55 for example and let's select confirm and send let's go back to the monitor tab and we can select working orders so we can see here that we have a working order here to sell at 289.55 as a limit order and you can also view your order on the stock chart as well. So you can see here we have a limit order to sell 500 of our shares at 289.55. All right. So that is how you can submit a limit order into the platform so that you can sell your position. Now let's cancel out of this order. So let's say you want to cancel this order. You can right click and then select cancel order. So now we don't have any working orders, so we have canceled the order successfully. So now let's go over how to submit an OCO order. So let's right click on SPY and select create closing order. And let's head over to with an OCO bracket. All right, so now with an OCO bracket, one cancels the other, we are able to submit a stop loss order and a target exit price. All right, so let's go ahead and place our target exit price. So let's say we want to exit the position at 289.60. And then let's say we want a stop loss order at, let's just say 
289.25 for example. So now we have a target exit price of 289.60 and a stop loss price of 289.25. So now let's select confirm and send. And now we can head over to monitor. So here we can see our orders are now in the queue. So we have an OCO order and we have a stop loss at 289.25 and a target exit price at 289.60. And if we bring over the stop chart here, you can see your orders here on the chart. So we have our stop loss order and our target exit price. If you would like to adjust it, you can adjust it from the chart and then you'll see a confirmation order form and then you can select send. All right. So let's go ahead and move our target exit price down just so that we can get filled for the purpose of this video. Let's move it down. All right, so you can see we have a limit order at 289.47. Let's see if we can get filled here. We're currently up $72. and we are not getting filled. Let's move the order down a little bit more here just so we can get filled. All right, order is at 289.45. All right, and as you can see, our order was filled at 289.45. And remember we submitted an OCO order, one cancels the other. So you can see here on the stock chart, we no longer have the target exit price or the stop loss order here because since our target exit was filled, our stop loss order was automatically canceled. So that is how you can utilize an OCO order. All right, so as you can see here, we made $70 here on this trade. And whenever you want to view any trades that you have made or even your open positions, you can do so by selecting the monitor tab. So that is how you can go about placing an order to buy shares of a stock within the Thinkorswim platform. I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel or giving the video a like. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video lesson.